Hello everybody, this is Philip Armstrong, and as per a request from a friend um, with line renderers, I am going to show you how to apply materials to a line renderer. How, I'm going to actually show you how to move the line renderer, or make the line renderer as well, but I'm going to show you how to repeat a material or not repeat a material, just so like if you apply a material to a line renderer, it doesn't stretch out. Um, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about, and I'm going to rewrite this script along with you so you know what's going on. But uh, this is basically what's happening with the line renderer is it's, it's stretching out that material, and uh, they don't want that to happen. And it doesn't matter where I move these, it, it's, it's going to work just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to get the material to either repeat or just stay like at a, a specific scale so it's not stretching out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new scene. I'm not going to save this one, there's no point. And I'm first going to move my uh, camera to an orthographic pointed down view so it's a little bit easier to see it during runtime. I'm just going to rotate the X 90 degrees. Okay, so uh, the first thing I did was I'm going to create uh, an empty game object and I'm going to put it at zero, zero space. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach a line render. You just type in line and just attach the line render right there. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to do for that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to name it line render up here, just so I know what it is. And then I'm going to create a 3D game object, a cube. And uh, I'm just going to zero out the Y. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And just place it somewhere and just uh, rename it to target. I'm going to go ahead and delete this script. And then recreate it. I'm going to call it, ugh, I didn't mean to open it, line. Cool. I'm going to have to rename this too, otherwise it's going to error out. Line. Oh, there we go. Save it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, grab the line renderer component of the object. Um, this script is going to go on the object with the line renderer. I'm just going to call it my line. Um, I think that's all I need. Then, actually, and I'm also going to make a transform target because it's going to be the target object that the uh, line is going to draw to from the line rendering object. The empty game object is the line rendering. Um, it's the one that draws the line, and the target's the cube. So on the start, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab the target. So I'm going to make the target equal game object dot find, and then uh, it's named target dot transform because the transform that I'm grabbing all right <clears throat> and then I'm also going to go ahead and I'm just gonna set my uh, or yeah, I need to grab the line real quick so my line is gonna equal get component line render and then I'm gonna say my line dot set count sorry it's a set vertex count and this is basically the number of vertices I want on my line so if you want your line to be able to like hit a corner and then jump around you're probably gonna want about three so you're going to have from the source to the wall to the object. But for me, I'm just need two. Because <clears throat> I'm just going to be the point that it starts at and then the point it's going to. And then in the update, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the positions. So I'm going to say my line dot set position. And then it wants an index. So the first position, which would be index zero. And then this game, this this particular object's uh, position. So transform dot position. And then the other point is going to be the target dot position. Okay. So now it's going to draw from one position to the next position. Now the part that we really want to fix is the material. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this, make sure it works. So I'm going to go to line render. I'm going to add my line script. I'm going to hit start. There it does. And it's in the update, so it constantly resets the position. So if I move around uh, the target object, it's going to move with it. And then if I move the line renderer, it does the same thing, the line rendering object. Now it's pink, so if I don't want it to be pink and I just want to be able to set a color, I'm going to go to this material portion here in the line renderer, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the uh, sprites default. <clears throat> Lines are 2D objects, so you're going to want to use a 2D material. Now it's white, and if I wanted to change the color, I could change like the start and end color. 
So it's like red, white. I mean, if this is if that's what you want, if you just want to line with a color, this is what you would do. But if you actually want to apply a material, which we do, which I already have, I have one made. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these, just so that everyone gets the actual process here that we're that we're doing. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to line render, and that's it. So I may want to change the I'm gonna change the width. It's a little it's a little thick right now. So I'm gonna go to my assets here, and I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna grab this picture of this health symbol. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna keep it as is right here. So go ahead and put it on clamp right here if it's not already. Just hit apply. And then I'm going to um, create a. Uh, I'm gonna create a material. I'm just gonna call this uh, line underscore mat for line material. And then I'm gonna make it a sprites default or diffuse doesn't really matter, but default kind of has like a self illumination so you can see it better. And then I'm gonna go to the line render and I'm gonna apply that new material I just made called line mat. It's actually mine came out as one, but I'm just gonna put it as uh, the one I just made. So now it's line uh, mat or sorry line underscore mat one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this texture down in here which will change that te the actual texture. Like there's no way to drag and drop it in here. So you just go ahead and drag and drop the texture on here and it'll go ahead and set it on top of that sprites material. And then when I hit play, you'll see that that new material is applied. But here is the, uh, the issue that uh, some people are having is this, this material is all stretched out and that's kind of a problem. So I, just, I, I didn't really look into any crazy math. There is some using sine and coast, but I just did something really simple. And all I did was <clears throat> I grabbed the distance. So I made a float distance and I make it uh, equal to obviously vector three dot distance between this object, the, the object that's drawing the line's position and then the target object's position. Then uh, I grabbed the, the line, this object's material. So the my line dot render dot material. And then I put set or sorry, main main texture scale will equal a new vector two and then I put in distance. Now you only need to do the X distance because the way lines draw is they're gonna line they're gonna draw sideways. If you're draw like if you're moving the position, that width that you're changing on there is changing the X width, not the Y width. Or sorry, the Y width, not the X width. So you want to change the X width of the um, material by setting the texture scale. And what I, so what I did is I, I kind of just ran some numbers and uh, I kind of found out that uh, distance divided by two works pretty good, or sorry, times two, I think it was. And then I just keep the normal, the, the Y scale to, to one. Oh, didn't work. Oh, you know what? I was, no, this should have worked, let's see here. My line dot render. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My apologies. I actually did run it. You do not need to make this a um, a sprite material. It can be. I made a self illumination diffuse because I forgot in my code here where I had made the main texture scale. It wants to grab the main texture and it's going. It's basing that off of the title here. So like main color. The other one was a sprite default. So I had to change the name. But go ahead and make the material. Um, self-illumination diffuse or diffuse it's just easier to see with the self-illumination so now with that same line of code that's uh, material dot main texture scale and then equal distance times two and then keep the y as one when you hit play the the material doesn't stretch so it's going to be like set to wherever that's like the start of the texture and then the rest is just going to be stretched out from the edge so it'd be red now, if you want the material to repeat, all you have to simply do is go to your texture, and where I told you to change it to clamp, just change it to repeat. That's it. And hit apply. And so now, no matter how much you stretch it out, it just adds to it. Just like that. No matter where you move it. Well, here's, here's I believe, maybe... So I believe if you move, so if you're making a 2D game, it's this 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 method here works very well. If you're making a 3D game, you're going to want to change this Y scale to the distance as well. 
um, but you may run into issues moving it around like this with the Y scale. So if you're making a 2D game, this will work just fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try something, I'm going to switch it to um, to 2D here, and I'm going to move the camera so that it's also facing that same direction, But because I want to make sure that I give you the proper scale here. So I'm going to move the camera down to the Y there. Okay, so I reorienter my camera to where it's pointing towards the uh, the X Y plane uh, to see to make sure that this works in that direction as well, and it does. It's just fine. So you can do the exact same way I showed you in a 2D game, and the re the repetition or the scale change will work just fine. If this is the kind of if this, if this is what you're looking for for the uh, the repetition or or just the clamp if you just want the original and then for it to just draw the rest of the color the rest of the way. You can use that too. Now, the one thing that I did notice is if you change these widths, you might get a little bit of stretching, I believe, based on... So now it's stretching. So I gave you the formula of just distance times 2, and this is where it comes in. You may have to just adjust it a little bit, your widths. So like for the distance times two here, I may have to do distance times three to change that and see if that actually updates it. Yeah, so see, I just changed it to times three and now it's kind of somewhat back to a, a normal scale. So this is just kind of like a quick fix way of doing it um, for changing the materials uh, scale. So you might just have to change those numbers. I mean, once you have the line width where you want it, you know, you don't really have to change it anymore. You can just keep whatever the distance times whatever number that you wanted. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. Pretty straightforward and uh, to the point. Make sure your line render here is on use world space though. Otherwise you're gonna get some funky, some funky drawing. Um, the only time you don't wanna use world space is if this line render was like the, a child of an object or a child and then, you know, you were targeting another child of that object. Then you would, then you would wanna use local space. But if your line renderer is separate from other objects that you're targeting, you're going to want to use world space. If you have any questions, please uh, leave comments below and I will answer them. Um, I'm also going to attempt to do a way where you draw a point, like uh, you set positions of points based on the distance so that it's drawing the line every single unit through world space instead of... Um, changing the material. This is obviously just the simplest, fastest way of changing it.